Hi, my name is Bob Slauson, and it is my pleasure to talk to you about unmanaged switches and how they can be a cost-effective solution in your industrial networks. Unmanaged switches can be a very cost-effective solution to add capacity to your industrial networks. Here we have the Strax 2000 line of switches, which we highly recommend as an Allen Bradley Rockwell Automation Distributor. As you can see, there are a wide variety of switches to choose from in the Strax 2000 series, from 5 ports all the way up to 18 ports. And that's our first strong point of choosing the Stratix 2000 unmanaged switch. We have a lot of ports from 5 to 18, and you can combine these with SFP ports for fiber connectivity. These switches come with 100 megabit per second and 1 gigabit per second link speeds. They also come with a wide temperature range to work in your industrial environments, from negative 40 degrees Celsius to 75 degrees Celsius. They offer a great compact design that allows you to place many ports in a small footprint in your electrical panels. These switches also are so easy to use, they have plug and play operation. And when we mean plug and play, we mean no configuration. There's no customization that you need to perform in order to put network traffic through your network efficiently. There's no network diagnostics, and that makes them ideal for small and simple networks and makes them a great cost-effective solution for your industrial network. Next, let's talk about broadcast storm protection. Broadcast storms can happen in unmanaged switches. There are three main types of network traffic that we deal with on our industrial networks. Mainly, unicast, broadcast, and multicast. Unicast traffic goes from one device to one device. You may hear this referred to as one-to-one -one communication. Following that, broadcast goes from one device to all devices connected on the network. And finally, multicast goes from one device to several devices that have subscribed to be part of that message group. Broadcast traffic is specifically designed to go to a particular network address. On an IPv4 network, we'll look at an example. So, if we were to have a network address of 192.168.0.0, a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0, our first host address would be 192.168.0.1. The very last address in a subnet is reserved for the broadcast range. That is, in this particular case, 192.168.0.255. All devices and switches that are listening on this subnet, when they see a broadcast packet, forward that packet on to all connected devices. Let's look at an example of how a broadcast storm may be an issue in your industrial networks. Here we see a regular network with two computers and two switches. When we send information across the network, the packet travels normally as we would expect. Now let's look at an example where we were trying to expand our network. We added a switch, in this case, switch C, and everything is working as we expect it should. But if somebody were to accidentally connect a cable between switch C and switch A, what do you think would happen if this was a fully unmanaged network? Because, remember, broadcast traffic goes from all devices to all connected devices on a particular switch. So if we were to send information from Switch A, it's going to forward that information to switch C and switch B. Switch B will then forward that information to switch C. And switch C will forward that information back to switch A, which creates this loop and propagates broadcast traffic across our network. And this can quickly bring down your industrial control networks and cause unplanned downtime. That is why we recommend using Stratix 2000 switches with broadcast storm protection. Another great reason to choose a Strax 2000 switch is the rugged industrial housing and IP30 rating, which means these switches are going to last a long time in your harsh environments. Another great feature is the dual power input, which allows you to hook up multiple power supplies to these switches. In this example, we're going to show how if we were to have two power supplies hooked up to our Stratix switch, 
how those can be a redundancy option for us. Here in this diagram, we have two power supplies connected to the terminal blocks on the blue block, which is our Stratix 2000 switch. If one of those power supplies were to fail, our switch would still continue to operate and our network would still remain working. So finally, to summarize, the Stratix 2000 switches are a great product to use in your industrial control networks. We've got lots of port configuration options for you. We have speeds from 100 megabit to 1 gigabit. We have a temperature range that's going to be able to handle most environments. They're in a compact design for your industrial enclosures. They offer plug and play operation, which means you're not going to have to be a network expert in order to get these working. The broadcast storm protection is built in and there's a rugged metal housing with an IP30 rating. Finally, the dual power supply option makes a great choice for high availability and uptime. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like more information on today's topic, please contact your Kindle Electric account manager or specialist. You can also visit our website at kindleelectric.com to find the location nearest to you. Stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on Facebook and LinkedIn. Thank you and we'll see you on the next Kindle Quick Connection.